Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I'm doing another video. Now of course I'm reacting to a Next Step Season 8 episode and today I'm reacting to Season 8 Episode 6. Now last episode we had a lot of content, I've literally just finished editing it and looking back we had so many exciting things in that episode and I can't wait for this one now, it's going to be a ride. So jumping straight into today's episode, it's called Series 8 Episode 6 and it's called Never Had a Friend Like Me. Rochelle asks the Step Inside team to show her their best duets. So we're going to get some duets today, which is very exciting. So I can't wait. Um, as always, no spoilers. And I don't own any of the Next Step content stuff. You know what I'm on about. So yeah, I guess let's just watch it. I don't really have too many predictions. And I'm very excited to see what this is all about. Kenzie would rather go to Nationals than stick with the team. How are we supposed to create an amazing show if we can't stay united? Um, hey Rochelle, ever since I became dance captain of the new eight- Okay, so I'm really hoping that Rochelle and Kenzie come up, up here and now, and I don't want there to be any drama between them because they have such a great friendship. I'll see you later. This is really, really sad, but like, I'm loving Rochelle and Kenzie's hair in this on point. And that, Rochelle's getting a call, I think, so I wonder who that's from. Moxie, maybe? Moxie? What's she called? I can't even remember. And honestly, good for you, girl. Jump off the sinking ship while you still can. This new show is coming apart quicker than Oh no, Rochelle thinks it's Kenzie who's done it, but I don't think it is. It's definitely not Kenzie. She wouldn't do that. Is there anything specific you want to see? Because you know what is just around the corner. And by you know what, I mean nationals. I'm guessing they're not allowed to say it because I can remember there's like a rule where they couldn't say it back in the season two nationals, which is quite funny to kind of see that this rule is carrying on now. Hey man, you get up to anything fun last night? No. Why? Nothing, just making conversation. I guess I thought for a second that he- Oh, what have you got to hide, Kingston? You the mole? I do have my suspicions on him, to be honest, so who knows? Suspects that I'm hiding something? Because the truth is, I am. Oh, what's Kingston hiding? Spill. We'll put a duet together for the show that oozes togetherness, okay? That'll show Tiara. This gives me a great idea. I'm gonna ask the rest of the team to work on duets. Okay, so Heath is very dedicated. Or is he trying to hide something? Everybody could be the mole at this point. I think the only person who's safe could be Rochelle at this point, but I don't know. Any other time that would be really, really, really fun. But if we're trying to win nationals, we need to stick to my routine. <laughs> We've been- Oh, Ethan is just being a bit cold right now. Like if you're gonna be a team player, you need to incorporate other people's styles as well you can't just be like no only mine this is kind of reminding me of season one emily where she wouldn't let chloe do her move though we go together like bread and butter like this duo would should just happen it's gonna happen right sure let's do it i'm getting so many flashbacks this season this is like eldon with michelle and emily and now we're getting kingston with finn and C carter <laughs> heathcliff so this is quite interesting and then maybe like, do a little, a little group <laughs> I love, I love Piper and Amy's friendship so much. It's lovely to see them working together. Um, I really hope they get it, actually. I think it would be really cute. Oh, and then we can watch the finale of Finishing First. Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. Is this going to have reference later on in the season? Normally it does. So, are A Troop or the old A Troop going to this show? I don't know. I could never tell Piper this, but I already watched it. I've been really stressing out lately, so... I kind of needed the distraction. That's quite funny, love it. I feel like this happens in a lot of situations. <laughs> oh, it's a very good dance, but I agree with what Kenzie says. He's kind of just the only one being showcased, and I think she really wanted everybody to have their shining moment in this, so I don't think Kenzie's gonna be happy. Kingston, just the man I was looking for. You, me, this duet, we're going to absolutely- Oh dear. Kingston's gonna get a third one. I don't think this has ever been done on the next step before. Actually, no, Eldon went with Chloe in the end, so technically Kingston is now drawing with Eldon, so we'll see he's gonna win in this race. Well, I can't believe you. I'm so shocked that Amy broke a promise to me that I keep forgetting to tell her that I cheated and watched our favorite show last night too. Oh, <laughs> that's quite funny. That is really cute though, loving it. I mean, at least they're both being honest. Well, Piper needs to be honest now, but that's quite funny. <laughs> Play a game of rock, paper, scissors to decide who stays in the studio, okay? That's a very good way to solve a problem, Finn. Good thinking. Kingston! Kingston. 
My, my partner, partner has, has arrived. arrived. Loving that. That is a very interesting picture. Like three talking heads in one go. We've not had that before. But you have to face those feelings and go anyways because it's the right thing to do. Kenzie's a really good dance captain. She's offering great advice. I think she's going to be amazing at this job. Look, I, I just wanted to say I'm really sorry. I was really obsessed with getting my way and I didn't listen to any of your ideas. I'm sorry. Very good character development through Ethan this episode. I am very happy about that. Mm -hmm. Pipes, are you rewatching the finale? Uh-oh. Fane just completely exposed Piper there. Oh dear. That she wants me to audition for the Manhattan Institute for Drama and Dance. Wow. Wow, that, that's, that's great. That could be a huge opportunity. That would be an amazing opportunity for Amy. I really hope she goes for it. That was really good. I love that duet. Round of applause. Really good. So keep your lips shut. Another amazing dance. This episode has so many great dances. It's really good. Word has it that social media maverick turned dancer extraordinaire Kingston has just auditioned for a major movie that's shooting in London in a few weeks. In London? Is Kingston coming to the UK? Ooh. First we lose Kenzie, now this? This is bad. Hold on. You auditioned for- Okay, this is all kicking off now. Oh dear. Rochelle's not happy and Ozzy's not happy. This is not good. Or else this team is in big trouble. Okay, what an episode. There was lots to look at there as well. Um, to be honest, I can't lie, that was probably one of like my least favourite episodes of the season so far. I don't know why, it was really good, there was lots of great dancing bits storyline wise. There wasn't anything too major, the only big like <gasps> moment was the end with Kingston auditioning for a dance thing. Um, but overall it was a good episode and I'm probably going to give it a 6 out of 10, not too bad. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed it and I wonder what Kingston's going to do and I wonder if he is going to come to London to shoot a film, who knows? Um, but to be honest, I don't have much more to say than that. So I guess just thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know your thoughts on the episode and I will see you soon for my reaction to season eight, episode seven we're on now, which is crazy. Um, and I will see you soon. Bye guys. Please.